the forests of Terrytown give rise to the tales of a headless Hessian soldier racing through the night on his tireless steed. Some claim to have seen him holding his head engulfed in some mystic phantasmal flames. Now there are whispers of strange ghouls in the woods. Stories that the trees themselves have come to life. Ichabod Crane has been missing for three days now, and you find yourself entwined in the search to find him. So in Legends of Sleepy Hollow, it's a follow-up to Washington Irving's famous short story, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which is set in Terrytown, New York. So as our story opens in chapter one, they are led to the schoolhouse, which is where Ichabod used to teach. They have to solve a mystery there. There are gonna be twists and um, some secret envelopes and things that you have to open and, and parts of the story that are not revealed until you get past certain areas. That will lead you to chapter two. There's eight chapters in the entire game. The idea of Sleepy Hollow came out of actually our love of role-playing games on the computer where you gather your buddies and you go on an epic adventure and you level up your characters over all these cool quests you have together and you have these shared experiences. So that's what you're gonna do in Sleepy Hollow. So when we approached Legends of Sleepy Hollow, it was interesting to see us, you know, how we thought through the story, taking what is a really an iconic, you know, source material that's been around for ever, and we take that and say, okay, here's where we see that story going from fundamentally where it left off. It's really exciting to be able to play as these different characters. Each one's going to have a unique game experience. Uh, my personal favorite is Jeremiah. He is the Undertaker, and he is awesome. Uh, he's kind of your classic video game tank. He's fun, you get to go swing your dice around, protect your party. Appropriate to the storyline is the Tanner, uh, Emily. And she's, she's more of your ranged character and she's the kind of character you want to play if you'd like to stay back a little bit but still do a ton of damage. Another playable character is Elijah the Minister. He is an older minister of the local area that's along with this party. And what he brings to the table is kind of your classic sort of video game monk abilities but in a really unique spin that really plays off his old Dutch heritage. Finally, you want to really have a neat experience. We have Matthias the War Vet. Uh, sort of your grizzly war vets come home and now it's kind of looking for their place in the world. Kind of one of those mid-range characters, a lot of damage, a little bit of range with the pistols. Whichever character of the four you choose is going to come your flavor of them. There's going to be choices every step along the way and there's going to be divergent paths. So how you play our Undertaker is going to be different than how other people have played and built them. And you're really, after eight chapters, it's going to be your Undertaker and your Tanner. And it really becomes you, and you're going to love these characters. Each hero has a set of general actions they can perform, along with a set of specialized skills unique to their character. During a hero's turn, a player will take an action token and move it to an action spot. They may then perform the action and move, or move and then perform the action. General action spots, environment, attack, and rest, may hold any number of tokens, but the skills may only hold one and will not clear until a player mat refresh occurs. Each hero has a weapon with a base range and damage. When a player selects an attack action, they first check range, then make sure they have line of sight to the target. Damage is then calculated by taking the base damage from the weapon and adding any modifiers from the general action or skill. Environment actions allow a hero to interact with things on the board in their space. For instance, in Chapter 1, an environment action can be used to flip over discovery chits, which will reveal certain secrets such as a Legends card. After all heroes have taken a turn, it's time for the game to have a turn. Each chapter has a game mat that controls certain aspects of the turn. Players will follow the actions listed on the revealed action spot. In this case, it is move and attack. All foes will first move one space toward the closest hero. Then, any foes that are in range and have line of sight will attack. In some game turns, new foes may spawn. An attack die is rolled and the game mat is checked to see the spawn result. Then a six-sided die is rolled to see where the foe or foes will spawn on the board. Knowing when the chapter is over and the heroes are victorious is easy. Players just keep going until the game tells them they've done it. In the case of chapter one, it will be a revealed event that instructs you to read the end of the chapter story page. Sleepy Hollow is growing darker. The tales of old seem to be coming to life. Face your fears. Unravel the mysteries. Become a legend. <laughs> <laughs>